Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing an object from the permanent collection with you and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Kristen Spangenberg, and I'm curator of prints. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite prints. It is called Cruel Game for a Man. It was done by a Czech printmaker, Jerzy Anderle. He was born in 1936 into a world which is very different from our own. It was a world that was um, controlled by the hardline communists. And he took up Dry Point with strength and will to for both the medical and physical issues that he had to deal with. If he had gone against the government, he might have been censored and perhaps imprisoned. So this particular print, which was commissioned by Anne Baruch in honor of the 30th anniversary of the close of World War II, in honor of her husband, who was a Holocaust survivor. You look at the world from space, and it chronicles the history of the early 20th century. You see in the lower left Hitler's face and figures that are obliterating it. In the right, you see the face of a young child who is innocent, and a mother who shares fear about the future. And in the bottom, you see German soldiers who were Nazis. And it, it was a discreet way for Anderle to deal with um, a reference to the Nazi past and an indirect reference to the communist presence in his life in 1975, before the 1989 Velvet Revolution. Um, it is a very richly surfaced print with color that attracts your attention, and then you discover the wrenching subject matter. Uh, it is a very large print, it is very big, and it c commemorates a man who I knew, Jock Baruch, who lived in Poland and was eventually a translator for the Americans and was able to immigrate to the United States. Jerzy Anderle uh, was an artist who had to get permission to take art, study art. Uh, he had the opportunity to travel abroad with a mime theater group uh, and he went to the Art Academy in Prague, where he developed his skill as a painter, printmaker, and sculptor. And he has an international reputation. Uh, and it was really a great honor for me in 2008 to do an exhibition call, with a publication called Illusion and Reality to feature his work that came into the museum's collection. Uh, it, it really gives you a pause to think about how an artist had the strength and will to overcome the restrictions on his life and to creatively surpass them. 